Hi everybody, welcome to Randy's Rants. Uh, I wanted to show you some things about why I have the greenhouse and what it's about. Um, here's the sign. Community Bill of Rights Fundraiser Plant Sale. We did this today at a uh, farmer's market to raise money for a Community Bill of Rights. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically a document that is um, a, a legal document that says communities get to decide um, what kind of businesses are in their town. The issue in Youngstown right now is uh, primarily fracking and radioactive waste disposal and injection wells. And so what we're doing is we're raising money by growing plants in the greenhouse and we're selling them at a farmer's market and um, giving the money to the Community Bill of Rights. And this is, like everything in the greenhouse, uh, a program of Occupy Youngstown Occupy Warren and um, Anonymous Youngstown. Um, so there you have it, Community Bill of Rights. Yay! Money for the revolution. Money for the revolution. And how is how is the uh, revolution going as far as the Community Bill of Rights? Uh, the Community Bill of Rights is going on the ballot for, uh, I think, the fifth time now. Um, and uh, what we've noticed is that in communities where there is no Community Bill of Rights action or nobody trying to stop the fracking movement, they move in and do what they want. And in communities where there is uh, resistance, they're not doing as much. They're being more careful. And so we're winning the revolution in terms of um, reducing the impact of uh, polluters in, uh, in our community by selling plants. Tomato plants is what we sold mostly of. If you remember the last video that we did, we had a gazillion tomato plants. Well, guess what? If you spin around and see in the greenhouse, a lot, like over here, lots of the tomatoes are gone. Back there, the tomatoes are gone. Um, we sold a bunch of them and uh, at discounts. And it's like double up your impact. When you sell something, sell something that the people need that contribute to... Um, Another element of the revolution, like food. We sell this stuff in a uh, food desert to people who don't have access to food. Um, so there you have it. We've got plants, and it's all part of the, 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 the circle of, um, of Occupy, where you get the best that you can in the center, the bullseye. Mm -hmm. Like um, grow your own food is dead center. Um, and create it out of your own plants. And then outside of that circle is uh, grow the food for other people and give it away. And outside of that circle is grow the food and barter it. And outside of that circle is grow the food and, um, and sell it to people who at, at, at reasonable prices if you can't uh, give it to them. And uh, anything but going to the stores and purchasing foods that's been contaminated by uh, Monsanto. Um, in, in some of our, our Randy's rants, you'll hear a tone of anti-genetically modified organisms. That's what this greenhouse is. None of this stuff uh, has any kind of connection to Monsanto or any fertilizer company or um, any business, except for um, one or two greenhouses locally that donate stuff to us because they're in the same spirit of the revolution with greenhousing and growing food for people. Uh, and so that's kind of what I'm doing today. I'm working in the greenhouse, expanding the revolution. Um, Viva la revolution means live the revolution. It doesn't mean long live the revolution. That's misunderstood by a lot of people, Joe pointed out today. Thank you, Joe. Sure. Um, so that's what we're doing. We're growing food for people. Uh, and soon uh, tomatoes are going to start to, uh, to, to be edible. Let me show you one over here. It's like, it's like the first week of June. And the greenhouse has tomatoes, okay? And we sold plants this size to people too. So in a week or two, the greenhouse will have food that will begin to prepare for people um, and probably give it away down at the bus station like we did last year in our Food Not Bombs program, okay? Um, next, after tomato plants, uh, is going to be baby kale. This is baby kale. Um, we're trying our best to bring it uh, back to life. It was donated by somebody who just dropped a box of seeds. We're going to grow kale and um, hopefully have that as food that we can eat all um, all winter. Uh, we have over here, I'm going to show you some of the things we also had donated to us to sell at the uh, community garden today. 
This is a uh, very orange pumpkin. I wouldn't have charged two bucks for it, but it's not my product. It's somebody else's. Very orange pumpkin, three bucks. These are um, ground cover strawberries that are not edible. They're just ornamental. Um, there's pumpkin, there's kale, there's cherry tomatoes. All this stuff sold at the community garden today. This was donated by someone else. So that's what we're doing. Um, we're trying to bring back a Gucci plant. It's not going very well. Um, so that's where we are. Okay. So that, uh, do we want to look at anything outside, Joe? Or are we okay with what we've done in here? Um, do you have something that we need to look at that we haven't looked at before? No, it's the same stuff. It's just growing better. There's lots of big tomatoes and there's lots of kill that's being harvested and it's all being given away to somebody. Okay, well, we let's go that. take a glance at it. Since okay, it's growing. Let, let's do that. It for a while. Lamb's quarter is doing deliciously. I love this stuff. Okay. It's a weed. I know I keep telling you to eat your lamb's Can quarter. Can I take some of that home? Well, absolutely, and some more lettuce, too. We've been feeding four families on that lettuce bed. Really? They're eating salads every day. And they're not buying it from Kroger. Or Walmart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stop bragging. Good idea. Um, every week, um, you come back and you see these plants look the same, but almost daily, people come by and peel off a bunch of this kale. This is going to be for you to take home. You can take this and put it in your salad, or you can cook it with onions, or whatever it is you want to do. Okay, but great. Because the fertilizer is so great, it just keeps coming and coming. And I like I said before, recycled frames. You can build this these kind of beds out of anything. Um, I don't know whether you noticed it inside or not, but there were some uh, five-gallon buckets that had food in them. Yes. Um, we, we sold those for three fifty dollars a piece today at the um, farmer's market. And the, uh, two of them went to people who have no room for gardens whatsoever. They have apartments with uh, stairs that they can set something on. So they just grown and stuff now, in the bucket. And now we're growing. So what we're going to do is more of that selling um, produce in its plant form so that people can take it home and grow it um, mm -hmm. in your house if they want to. Fantastic. Yeah. So the kale's doing well. The, uh, the tomatoes, look over here. You gotta see these tomatoes and how they're coming along. Look at this. Like, I don't know if you know the climate here in western, um, northeastern Ohio, but it's, it's the first week of June. 13, it's the 13th of June? It's the middle wow. of June. Yeah. Look how big those tomatoes are. Um, they are. They're you can huge. do this too in your house if you have the right soil. Uh, and what would the right soil consist of? Um, well, basically, it's organic material um, that's well com composted, well rotted. Um, this is a combination of horse manure and sawdust that's five years old. It's beautiful stuff. Um, basically, compost. Take your trash, uh, separate out the um, Materials like uh, vegetables, uh, banana peels, stuff like that. Um, decompose them, uh, mix them in with some brown, brown dirt, and uh, that's what you plant in. Compost. Okay, fantastic. Uh, these are all the red, uh, the um, sweet banana peppers. We're hoping that they come out uh, great guns. Sweet banana peppers, delicious. We didn't buy this. Somebody gave us these, and that was the sticker that came with them. Um, part of the thousand. We're up to about 1,400 plants given away so far. Great. So that's what we've been doing. So that's the uh, Randy's Rant in the community garden uh, connecting to the farmer's market with ways to forward the revolution in healthy and happy ways because this stuff's fun to do. Um, so that's Randy's Rant for today. Okay. Bye everybody. Thank you Randy. You're welcome.